family, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, man, we'll, we'll make a little thing of it. Excellent. Yeah, so you'll get your chance. You get yeah, your chance. yeah. I mean, you can go anytime, but well, if you want to come hang out with us, yeah. that yeah, yeah, soon, <laughs> soon. It's always nice to get the inside, you know. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. yeah. I might get the cabanas on the low price. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> Now, when I listened to the podcast, uh, what was it, last, two weeks ago, y'all did it I there? I think it was two I mean, weeks ago, yeah. 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 Did, uh, I was kind of telling my wife, like, man, we ought to go check that place yeah, out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I was uh, very impressed. I, I had not been there yet myself. Uri did know? a great job, man. He's such a uh, just awesome cheerleader for that place. Right. I mean, he just promotes it so well, you know. Um, so, yeah, he did, he did really good on the show. I think he enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was awesome. Trying to get the, his uh, his uh, his automated drone. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. that, that was, didn't go as well. But was, was, so yeah, he was trying to have the first uh, c- close drone video footage um, on the show. He wanted to actually hover the drone over our podcast, which was a first. Um, it, it, did, it, was, it didn't quite work out, but I think he's on to something. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm not hating. I, I, you know, it sounded pretty neat. It was worth a shot. Well, <laughs> you know, I've been flying drones for almost 10 years, and I've never seen a drone like that. I mean, yeah, it, it was, was so uh, user-friendly. It, it, well, it's, it's like he, does, he doesn't actually fly it. He, like, hits a couple buttons, and it kind of, like, it's just, like, just automated. It, it, it just, like, follows him yeah. and just knows. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's like, just a, like a parameter. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's... yeah Tominus, I guess it's called, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But, um, yeah. cutting edge. I do good enough to make a Facebook post. So, right. yeah, like I'm not even doing that nowadays. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was just saying that earlier at the lagoon. We were trying to, you know, we've got the professional crew out there, but you still got to take your own photos and videos. And and I'm so bad at, at yeah going live or, or you know it's just it's it's hard, man. It's yeah. an art. It's yeah. an art. It yeah. really is. That's yeah. why some people get paid a lot of money for that. FYI. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm really surprised when some of my like friends will tell me, "Man, you do pretty good on your Facebook," and it's yeah. like, "Really?" Because I'm struggling with it. You know? Yeah, no, you do do good actually. Yeah, I I, I, I wouldn't have known. Yeah, so. it. yeah, I, I uh, it, like you said, it's a, you got to. I really have to think about. Oh, I got to take certain pictures of this job and. You know, you got to work. It's it's all, it's all just hand, uh, I think, slide of hand kind of. Absolutely, yeah. I think sometimes I overthink it instead of just getting something out there, right, and then right. you don't post it because yeah. you're like you're so you know you're working on it, and then sometimes yeah you post something and you're like man I, I probably could have made that a little bit better before yeah. I threw that out there. You know, yeah. it, it goes both ways. It's definitely a practice. Yeah. yeah, I see people like my buddy Brian over at Sabine Skiffs. He's like posting. He goes live all the time. Yeah, and it's yeah. like man I. Yeah, I'm not good at going live. No, I'm not good yeah. at going live. Well, yeah. the problem when I go live is every video starts off with a close up of my mug. Yeah, you know, before yeah. I, you know, I was at the <laughs> my, the camera's going. You know, it's I'm, always uh, blurry it's always, for it's me. Always pointing at me instead of yeah, yeah. Next thing it you know, ta- you turn into a dad meme. <laughs> it <know>? takes like <laughs> 24 hours for the live video to like upload to HD or something. So like you. <laughs> They're watching it, and it's all grainy, and then, oh, like, yeah. you know, they don't pull it back up the next day when it's, like, good right, quality. Right, it's, yeah. So sometimes I, I'm i kind of against going live, but you'd get a lot more uh, views live than just posting Yeah, that's my understanding. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's like, that. yeah, the old algorithms. Exactly. Again, yeah. I'm no uh, expert, but I know the algorithms matter. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, just bring back Tom in MySpace. You know? Oh, <laughs> man, dude, I'm right. telling you. I still know people that were like, oh, man, I had so many friends on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> I had the jams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. music, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah signature yeah. track, yeah. And everybody's uh, page is just full of all this animated stuff. Yeah, dude, it was yeah, just music. Just and yeah, yeah. Computer, you know, bogged down as you're trying to scroll down your page. I don't page. think they were doing ads back then, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like, don't maybe know. they were doing ads on the side or something, but not, no, like, probably, not like probably, on your Yeah, it probably feed. wasn't that, you know. Yeah. God, now, I mean, I don't even... I, I'm well, surprised I even, even see y'all's yeah, post. I'm it, telling you, right. do, you, do you pay for those ads? Because I'm surprised I, I do, still see them. them. Yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I feel like they put you in that that zone. If you don't pay, you're just kind of in the like lost I world. Think so too. You know, I'm telling yeah. the black hole of Facebook. They're like, so, oh so, yeah, no, 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 no. So my <laughs> wife, she's got a strategy that if you before you do a business post on your personal page, you do like an interest post asking a question. Yeah. So you try to get, you know, you try to get like, you know, a hundred or, you know, comments, try to, comments, try, try yeah, to get people shares. to comment. Hang and, on, let me write this down. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. And then you do the, do the, the, the promotional post after yeah. that, after you get, cause that way the algorithm's going to, you know, you're going to get better results. And, and then the, the, the times you post. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I've heard so many things about that, but 
And then the consistency, right. how often you can you can post too much, and you yeah. can obviously yeah. not post Wear enough. You out, and then uh, you know if you people start blocking a, you, they start, start snoozing yeah. you. Like I notice any time I post a picture with my wife, uh, I get a hundred likes. Yeah, you know, just my ugly mug. It, four. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm watching, yeah. You know, like, well, it sounds uh, like you outkick your coverage like I did. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. maybe that makes sense. Maybe right. when I post stuff with Alyssa, maybe that's why it's so yeah. much better. Yeah, that's wow. why I tried to bring that makes the, sense. That's why I tried to bring Amy, you know? Yeah, it, that's right, man. Yeah. That's Boost right. Boost us all up. There you go. Right. <laughs> Very good. There's so definitely something to that. Tell us about more about Oasis, man. How long you been doing it? You know, what got you into it? You know, kind of your, your uh, uh, funny water story. background. We, uh, well, water background, I grew up in Pearland, okay. obviously, born and raised, and then uh, grew up fishing a lot, like Chocolate Bayou, um, okay. hanging out down here on Clear Lake, obviously, fishing the beach, the surf, all that, um, and then always loved the water, loved outdoors, and then when I got older, got into doing air conditioning and other construction, and I, was, I, knew, I always knew I wanted to do something on my own, and uh, one of my best friends down in Rockport, needed a new dock. And we were looking at, oh, what's it going to take to build this? Oh, we can build this dock. So we went and bought a barge and built this dock and then kind of went into business down there in Rockport, Aransas Pass area. Oh, nice. Yeah. And we were partners in the business for a while. And then about the beginning of COVID, uh, just kind of, I, I had two young boys. I have a three-year-old and an 18-month-old now. So we decided to... I'd, kind of moved up here and he's got his thing going down there so we're all good there and uh just kind of started hey we could do it and we did it yeah wow now we're doing it yeah so, that's cool man I, mean, I remember going to like the boat show the year before what was that 2019 yeah i mean you were there so the year before no we were we were there i was there in 19 but that was that was 20 believe it or not it throws you off because of covid because okay. it was in january it was right before, but yeah, right. that was the 2020 show. Okay, yeah. so 19, yeah. I remember like taking my wife there. We had just started the business six months or about a year before that and uh, kind of doing it on the weekends, getting it, building it up. And I remember you heard going, that weekends. Yeah, weekends. weekends on the water. <laughs> Hashtag. And uh, <laughs> nice. We, uh, anyways, I remember going to the show and like walking around thinking like, man, it'd be cool to have a booth there. And then, yeah. you know, a year later having a booth there, it was kind of a, surreal moment where you're like i don't know you got every now and then you gotta look back and yeah you know, remind yourself of where you came from and i yeah. i have a hard time with that but uh milestones like that help sure that. sure awesome. nice. i had no idea man that was your first run at the show like that, was, that. yeah, yeah you, mean, were, you were all set up you were confident bro i mean i, I would have never known yeah. like, you know, some of those guys have been doing that for better, 50 yeah. years oh, i mean I know. you know yeah. with with you know kenny senior and all that i mean yeah. you know they, they they're completely comfortable in there guys like us that are just kind of getting into yeah. it trying to squeeze our way in and yeah. figure out where to where to set up at I would have never known, man. Yeah, yeah I man, thought you were a you know tenured boat show attendee. No, no, you know, no. yeah, yeah, salty vet. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> salty uh, vet. Yeah, got to get a better row next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, put it, move us over, Kenny. <laughs> oh, and I know he's listening too. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, now I'm doing the uh, Houston fishing show next weekend at George R. Brown, oh. which uh, mm. is a pretty hard show to get in. Everybody I talk to in the show industry, quote quote, um, kind of. Oh, you got to go there. That that's where the that uh, yeah. You know they say the boat show is more of like tire kickers and people at the fishing show or people Dr- raise yeah money. dreamers at the boat show. The fishing yeah. guys are actually spending money at the fishing yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. So I got in there this year. May probably due to COVID, a spot opened up. Sure. So I got two spots. Nice. Uh, you are doing the double boot this year? Double boot. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. anchor it down. There and, you go. Uh, you got to move it up. So I did a double boot the first year. Triple boot uh 2020 and then yeah. i'm going for the 20 by 20 oh come on that i want my own section bro yeah. no row my right. own section uh in 2022 yeah yep. right damn yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> Hopefully we, uh... yeah yeah but that's cool man more space it helps a lot uh you know work on trying to get on a corner or something but yeah. dude just having that double it it's tied in a 10 by 10 right. man you know and people they can walk three steps and they've walked by your three, 10 by exactly. 10 you know the 10 by 20 it takes them a few more steps to walk by. Maybe their neck actually goes over that way. Well, you know, yeah. You, know, you kind of get down to the science of like, if somebody really good is across from you, or yeah. you know, a, a pretty girl even is across sure. from you. Like, if if they're looking that way, yeah, they just you're over there, go, you know, cheerleading. Trying, it don't hey, matter. You know, yeah. like, 
trying to get attention. Yeah. So I put up at the at the boat show. I, I went over to Plash Lights and was like, "Hey, give me some blue lights to hang up just to catch people's attention." 2019 boat show. I had tents set up, which was really cool. I was on the corner. We had the double booth, but it was a little. It was cool with the tents, you know. But it was a little dark inside of there. Yeah, dude. After like three or four days, I I know the flashlight yeah. guys too, and uh, or flashlights. Yeah. yeah, and I always say flashlight, but flashlights. And uh, yeah, man, I was like, dude, I got to get some lights. They came over, checked it out. It was like 120 bucks. I was illuminating those yeah, boards. Yeah, yeah the next weekend, it was a game changer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got them laying around here somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them ready for the fishing they're, show. They're so. solid, bro. These oh. are not like. I mean, these lights, they were hard to mount. They weighed a few pounds. I mean, they were really putting some yeah, power a, out. They make a great product. It's, they're you know, solid. Local. Yeah. Uh, yep. So I like supporting. We sell a lot of things through the store there at Oasis Dock Supply, and they're, most of them are all local. Yeah. Or at least American made. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, I try but like you said, them. a lot of it's from Houston. You know, yeah, yeah, Houston yeah. We guys. Do. We sell you know? flash yeah, lights. Yeah. We sell underwater fishing lights down in Lamarck. Yeah. We okay. sell their products. Uh, we sell Legacy Lifts, which is up by Dallas. Yeah, Wave Arm. all right, yeah. Legacy. I know. Yeah. yeah, okay. Wave Armor's up in. They were in between us. Yeah. So that. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, what's his uh, name again? Derek. Derek. Yeah. Old yeah. Derek. He's a. Uh, he's good people. Yeah. He's up there. Man, he wants me to come Dallas. jet surf with him at some point. Oh, but man. yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's he'd probably do it. Like, oh yeah, he said he got a little lake out there. Yeah, they got Cedar Creek Lake, which is this like crazy thing that nobody's ever heard of. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> yeah. Tony Romo lives there, oh. and like. Uh, Legacy Lives, Galaxy Lives, uh, all these, like, there's, like, four large marine companies located on this lake that wow. nobody ever heard of called Cedar Creek Lake, and then come to find out, like, all the cowboys live down there. You know, it's yeah, kind of like yeah. Bell Harbor in the 80s, you know? Yeah, right, right. Right. Live there, yeah right. Kenny Stabler back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. You can see him and his little Porsche cruising, cruising around Nassau Bay. Yeah, yeah Bell Harbor. Wow. But, That's uh, cool. Yeah, kind of, anyhow. I don't know where we're going to, but uh, that was it. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. No, man, I think you're gonna do great at the fishing show. Uh, I, yeah, I'm. I, I'm gonna have to come by and check it out, man. Yeah, man you come know, on up. yeah. So, uh, so, so when I, is that? Next when week. Next, next week. Uh, yeah, Wednesday through Sunday. Yeah, well, the, I guess uh, April 13th. So it's five oh, day yeah. show. It's coming yeah, up. Wednesday through Sunday. Wednesday yeah. through Sunday. Okay. George R. Brown. George R. Brown um, Convention Center. Yeah. yeah, I've been seeing a lot nice. of posts on Facebook about it. Uh, nobody reached out to me about setting up. A lot of t- sometimes I'll get, you know, hey, you want to set they, up or well, something? Don't, but they don't but like you because said, there's, it's a they, waiting They list. got a waiting list. Yeah. That's how the boat show used to be back in the day. When we had Bruce Bullock on uh, from Bullock Marine, mm-hmm. man, he said when he was, you know, trying to sell these boats 20 years ago, he, he yeah, he had to send flowers to the, the receptionist oh, at the boat man. show, and he had, to, <laughs> he had to give kickbacks, and, I yeah. mean, he, you know, just to set up. And, right. I mean, uh, it was crazy. Now... It, maybe it's a little bit bigger or easier, but uh, I can see how sometimes the shows get like that. Yeah. They're, they're so popular. I mean, yeah, bro, everybody that sets up here makes money. They're not giving that spot right. up. Yeah, yeah, I know so, a lot of people. Wow. Uh, yeah. A lot of people come uh, from all over the state for the fishing show, like uh, the Red Tail Sunglasses guys and some, you know, other people like that. They're coming all the way up from the valley and, and stuff to set up here. Yeah. And that's a show, like, we don't miss. Yeah. Is, is kind of how they've always told me. Wow. They don't miss man. it. Yeah. yeah. That's the show. I mean, I I can't even tell you the last time I was in the George R. Brown. I think I went to a Southwest Pool and Spa show a few years ago, and it was way in the corner. I mean, a big room, but not like yeah. anything like they're going to have for the fishing right. show. Yeah, I think they probably take up about a third of the George R. Okay. Brown, which, I mean, it's, it's heck, huge. I would say it's at least as big as Reliant. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I mean, I Probably. think it's. I think Maybe. it's, it's bigger. Yeah, you're I think you're sitting in traffic on 59. Yeah. It feels like it's <laughs> right, five right. miles long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you. Yeah, you drive by that thing for like a minute. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. It, it's <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Everybody knows the George R. Brown. Yeah. yeah so yeah. <laughs> that's um, funny. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that'd be a good show. And then we got the Got Fish Expo down in uh, Galveston County coming up in May. Okay. And that's the second one. It's the second one. Okay. They did the yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hunter Welch with Fish Sticks, and I can't remember his name, but he owns uh, Chicken Boy Lures. Oh, man, uh, they're hot right now. Boy. Yeah. That's where we needed to be set up at the boat show, at the Lures, uh, man. Yeah. They would have been looking at Lures, but at least they would have seen us. come to you. Man, because they were all over them yeah, Lures. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was where it was at. That so, was the row. So they as was soon as the Houston Boat Show canceled, they got together and said, hey, let's do a show. And they put it together down in Galveston County. And that was a great show back in January. I did really good with the floating docks and all that. Uh, yeah. 
sold quite a bit. Everybody I talked to said they had the best show. I think everybody was ready to get out of the house. COVID, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, they uh, did temperature checks on everybody. It was as safe as could be, and then um, so they said, "Hey, let's do it again." And I think they're going to try to do like one a quarter, maybe. Wow, or, that, or, you know, that's aggressive, but why not? Maybe, maybe I three mean, a year. yeah, yeah, that, go for it. It's right there at Galveston.